Today we're going to uh, do an overview of installing eyelets and grommets with hand tools. This is brought to you by chairandchisel.com. You can buy all these tools and everything else on our website. First option is to use a rotary hole punch. Um, I am using a piece of cardboard under it. You want to use cardboard when you're working with a more flexible or woven material, so cloth, biothane, uh, some leathers. Um, and it just gives you a cleaner hole punch. For stiffer materials, you don't need the cardboard. The next way you can punch a hole is by using a manual hole punch. You just push, put the sharp end against the leather, and then you hammer the back of the tool. I have a self-healing rubber poundo mat underneath, um, so I don't damage my tool, and a marble block underneath that, so it makes it a little more stable. So now you're gonna get out your, your eyelets, um, or grommets if you're using washers. Um, you're going to take the eyelet and place it into the leather, all right, and put the it face down, tube up, onto the anvil so the little stick goes in the middle. And I'm going to add a washer to this one, uh, so it'll officially be a grommet. You place the grommet then over the tube on the back. You want to use these when you're using uh, woven materials or you want a more finished look. And then you're going to take the stick, uh, you can know what size it is by looking at the number on it, place the hole over the tube, and hammer the back end. I start lightly and then I increase the amount of force that I'm using to roll the rim of the tube of the eyelet onto that washer and secure it into place. So now you can see it has a nice finished look. Uh, washers are optional uh, for stiffer materials like leather that don't really stretch, don't need the surface area coverage, so now I'll install one without a washer and you can see what it looks like. So again, I've placed the washer in, face down, tube up, and I'm hammering from the back, this time without a washer. It's rolling that brim over and it's locking it into place on that leather. So you can see the difference in look and finish. All right, now we're gonna do an example with a six millimeter eyelet. So different eyelet tools are going to look different. They all work pretty much the same, pretty much the same, uh, just depending on the size of the eyelet, certain tools and shapes are a little bit different. So I've punched my hole and I've set my eyelet into my leather. This one has a little anvil with a little lip in it and your eyelet should fit into that lip, like fit nice and around to make sure it's centered. You're going to place the, the tool right in the center the back just like we did before on the other tool and it's going to do the same thing to roll the rim over and you'll have a nice uh, and finally uh, we're going to use a flowering tool so um, this actually peens the back uh, splits it um, and gives it a little bit better attraction so especially for stretchy materials uh, this is a good way to go it's got a little serrated edge on it. Um, this you're going to get as centered as possible. You kind of have to rock and adjust your center and kind of check it to make sure that you're getting it all nice and even and you'll have like a nice little flowery pattern at the end there. So that is installing eyelets with hand tools. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe and check us out uh, on our website. Thanks.